Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to teach Algebra 1. Now, Algebra 1, of course, depending on the uh, educational system that you have in your particular state, um, will cover quite a variety of topics, and uh, here's just a, a few illustrations as to what kind of topics you really want to be aware of and have a really strong knowledge of to, in order to teach Algebra 1. So, one of the fundamental ideas is that you definitely want to be sure that you have your order of operations down because that's going to be important in com when it comes to algebra and beyond. Now, a knowledge of sign numbers, knowing positive and negative, of course, but also understanding the different signs. For example, negative times negative is a positive, positive times a negative is, an, is negative, so on and so forth. A strong knowledge of solving equations are going to be very important as well. And not, you know, nothing too heavy duty, but uh, we're talking about linear and quadratic equations in particular, as well as systems of equations. You might be asked to solve two equations at once, perhaps three, depending on the curriculum. Solving inequalities, primarily linear inequalities. You want to figure out greater than, less than um, inequalities and knowing when to change signs, etc. Factoring is going to be very important. Factoring using the greatest common factor, factoring trinomials, difference of squares, etc. And an introduction to radicals primarily with square roots. So knowing when to simplify square roots, whether or not something is a perfect square, those are kind of things that you want to think about. So there's a few topics for you to consider, and if you have a pretty strong knowledge of that, and that should give you a good foundation on teaching uh, the subject. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's some topics on how to teach Algebra 1.